Hi guys, this is Orchid. This is a very quick uh, DIY. It's fall. Many of us were changing out our accessories. I'm using these Dollar Tree vases. They come in two heights. I'm using both. I'm also using this basket. Wish I had gotten two of them, but I like the design. I also picked up a pack of glue and I was really impressed uh, at, at how well this glue works. So with regards to the vase, we're going to start first by just cleaning that um, tag from the bottom. And then we're going to use that glue to glue them together. So you can glue them based on the height that you want. So I had two of the tall ones together and two of the short ones. Now I'm cutting the design out of the basket. Make sure what you don't use your best scissors for this because this is definitely going to dull your scissors. Once you are done with that, you're going to wrap it around the vase to see how much you need to cover the vase entirely with a little overlap. And then just cut it. Now I noticed that I still had the curvature for the bottom of the basket so I had to cut that off and I decided therefore I would make that be the top when I put it on the vase as you see. You, you are not going to get it even at both ends. One is going to be a little off but that's fine. I mean it's not about symmetry here and you notice that I mark where it's they meet so I know where to cut off the excess. I'm going to staple it temporarily. See, I have an overlap there. That's not going to look good, so you have to cut that off to kind of even it out. But it doesn't matter if it's not even all the way around. I think it makes it more interesting. So notice the overlap doesn't look good, so you have to cut away that excess. And I simply just, you know, stick the scissors in to the center and cut it away. Showing you the overlap. So I think it looks better with the even area on top and then at the bottom you just cut away that overlap section and make it even. I tried this glue and it worked temporarily. I used um, paper clips to hold it in place. I think the E6000 would have done a better job. But um, yeah. Sprayed it gold. I also did one in silver. And you just slip it over the uh, vase and center it. Make sure you have an even clear area at the top and the bottom. For the second one that I did, I just used hot glue to make a design on the vase. So you can use whatever design you want to. I have two of them glued together. And once I'm done with this, I'm simply going to spray it whatever color I want. Make sure to do the design where they meet to kind of hide it. So this is the first one with the basket um, design. I actually like this guys. I was pleasantly surprised. Here they are all together. I did one in silver just to give you guys an idea. And you can see how you can use the different height of the vases. So you could have, you know, a set of three with varying heights. Not a very, um, it's a very inexpensive uh, DIY showing you with um, tea lights. The one that sprays um, gold, you're not doing this for the light, it's more for the ambience. This is it with the four candles. See with this one, it's just for the ambience as I said. And that's it guys, simple, quick, easy. Just use E6000, not that one for the uh, plastic for the basket. Thank you so much for watching guys, bye now.